I did nothing wrong, Your Majesty. I only went to check on him when I didn't see him come to chair or before going to bed. I did it for you, seeing how much his presence pleases you. All the same, it was wrong. Your action could be misinterpreted. My lady, my queen, your majesty, I put my faith in your hands, knowing how displeased the king must be with me. Rise. Your majesty. I don't need to do that. I hate to be in a precarious situation. I'm not used to lying to my husband, the king. I guess this is one exception. Yes, massage, massage, yes, 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 massage, yes. Queen, what's going on here? Massage, yes. Ah, oh my king. Sorry, Your Majesty. Thank you, Oprah. Now, this God was wise enough to confide in me, you know, concerning some information. Now, he goes on to say that Judith must and will be punished. Yeah, from the information I got from Azuka, the Queen's maid and two other girls are exonerated. We can't just sit back and watch Judith suffer. We have to do something. With all due respect, Prince Adam, we are being watched. And I'm starting to feel that every eye in this palace is on us. Please. To win a battle, men must die and sacrifices made. It would be stupid and foolish of us at this point to intervene. So you guys are saying... If we intervene, we are putting this mission in jeopardy. Yes, yes Prince Adam. Yes. Except you're willing and ready to give up on your quest. Never. I swore as a child that I will complete this mission. Sorry, then. You have to, you know, bless it firmly. Yes, yes, yes. It's okay. Uh, uh, it's what okay. is this um, nonsense I hear? Uh, it was... Yes, Your Majesty. Mm. Yes, dear. What is this nonsense I hear about my maid going to, you know, Prince Ferguson's uh, chambers? If I remember clearly, I, she was on an errand for me. Hmm? I mean, besides that, I would like to know if the conjurer of this mischief and lie saw her walk into his chambers. My queen, that was why I needed confirmation from you. And like you rightly said, I have no doubt in my mind that it is a lie. This is all so very upsetting. A berry has been with me for so many years. She has an impeccable character. How dare someone try to defame her by roping her into their silly palace politics? <laughs> Don't be offended, my dear queen. Everything is settled, okay? Everything is. Hmm? Yes. Your oh, oh. hey, Majesty. Let's go talk about how to implement our agreement, okay? Aha, uh -huh. that reminds me, my queen. Make sure you see the palace doctor, okay? I will. 
I'm sorry about that. It's okay. okay. Your Majesty, it is rather unfortunate and very embarrassing to me. And my father will be very disappointed if he hear of this. Don't worry yourself, young man. There is just no way your father is going to hear about it. The most important thing here is that you're comfortable and relaxed in my palace. Well, yes, I am, Your Majesty, but based on the present circumstance. I want to cut short my vacation and return to my kingdom. Why? Is it that you're no longer happy here? I am, Your Majesty, but I... You think that you do no such thing? The maiden that caused this problem shall be dealt with. Your Majesty, that's another point I wanted to raise. I do not want anyone to suffer on my behalf. You worry yourself so much, young man. This particular maiden has been a major source of embarrassment to my palace. She has a bad reputation, isn't it, Ogbo? Yes, Your Majesty. You see what I mean? What we're going to do is, we're going to send her away but all the benefits that accrues to her for the times she spent here in the palace shall be given to her. Obo, please ensure that. Your Majesty. Good day, Father. Ah, oh, my princess. How are you today? Very well, Father. As you can see, She's very upset about everything. I'll suggest you talk to her. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, why insist that he stays when he's willing to leave? I find them rather uncomfortable here. I know what I'm doing, Ogbo. I didn't come this far making unwise decisions. No. Never mind. He'll marry her. And then through him, I will take over his father's business. And the world will be a better place for everyone. Never mind. Cheer up, my old friend. <laughs> Your Majesty. So, you've managed to lure me into your chamber. What do you want to talk about? Well, my princess, first of all, I want to say that I'm sorry. I need you to forgive me that uh, Judith didn't just come into my room. She came based on my request. I had wanted to find out a few things about you and I thought the best person to speak to would be her since she's your maid. But there's nothing you wanted to know about me you couldn't have found out from me. Right. I agree. My mistake. And I say I'm sorry. Well, on a lighter note, I am sure you know that whatever I'm doing with your sisters, it's all just play. I'm sure you know it's you I want. Even the king knows of my intentions. Well, I don't know. Well, I'm telling you now. You have to believe me. Come on. Well, most importantly, I need to know if you have forgiven me. Please. I mean, if you don't, I would have not only disappointed my father, but also myself. Okay. But I hope this doesn't happen again. Never, my princess. It will never happen again. What are you doing? Get up before someone sees you. 
No one will see me. I'm in my room. Besides, I am not ashamed to kneel before the lady I love. The lady that will give me beautiful gifts. Just don't do it again. I won't. How do I know that you have forgiven me? Hmm? My word is an authority. No. Let's do something else. Let's do this. What did you just do? I kissed you. And I'll do it again. Has anyone seen Prince Ferguson? I've been looking for him everywhere. Princess Harriet, you wouldn't happen to know what time it is, would you? 5.15. Why? Ah. Ah, then he has me gone. It has me. <laughs> what has begun? You mean you don't know? Know what? I mean, the time he goes off. I mean, like, disappears. Disappear? Princess Harriet. Obo is only joking. If you did not see Prince Ferguson, perhaps he is reading in his Very book. funny. Save the kingdom. Save the kingdom. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Save the kingdom. Save the kingdom. Hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. He'll be talking the walking smiles Deep within his flaunted eyes Oh, did she come here? Come here, come here. The prince, if Prince Ferguson is not with the king or the queen, then where is he? My princess, have you... Hush, please. Hush. Let me think. Pardon me, my princess. What is it? What were you trying to say again? My princess, I was saying... Since your Vince is chambers and knocked his door with no response, have you checked on Princess Gina or Princess Pearl? Nah. Nah. Gina, Gina would not let him into her chambers. She just won't. I mean, no, would she even go to his and his cottage? But Pearl? Um, just wait there. Wait there. Pearl? Pearl? Stupid girl. I'm sure she's with you. Harriet, what are you doing here? <laughs> Why? I came looking for you. When you knocked on my door, that is, even if you did, did you get any response? Listen, I just, I... That's it, that's, that's it. You didn't even knock. You just barged into my room. Harriet, why? All right, bro, that's okay. That's fine. I'm sorry. God. I know I laid down the rules. I am sorry I did not knock. Excuse me. Jeez. Hey. 
I'm here. What did you want? Never mind. You know what? I'm sucking nose. Where are you coming from? Gina's chambers. She wasn't even there. And why am I even talking to you? I don't think she was actually looking for me. I think she came to find out if Prince Ferguson was with me. Harriet? Mother. What are you doing? Mother, I just... I, 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 don't even start with me. What are you... And you? What are you doing here? I was, I was looking for Harriet's mother. Harriet. 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 Don't you ever let me see you repeat what I saw you doing now again? That is so unladylike. And I will not have any child of mine behave like a slut. Do you understand? Do you understand? What were you caught doing anyway? And what's your business? Huh? But what was mother doing here? Why did you ask her? Which one you Is there? Is there? Or is there? What? 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 Oh, oh my god. And can you imagine? I want Judith. I want her to run away, but she wouldn't listen to me. See? You know, maybe they just want to ask her some questions and they'll bring her, bring her back. You, you never can tell. Bring you know, her back. Yeah. Have you ever seen Oppo request to see a guard or a maiden that committed an offense in this palace and the person came back alive? I pray nothing happens to her. You know, sometimes I'm even afraid to breathe in this palace because I don't want to offend anyone. <sighs> Treat it. I'm afraid we might never see her again. No, no, don't say that one. She's, she will see her. We'll see her. We'll see her. You just said that someone should have unpack her bags. Hey. Why? If you see your boy, ask him that question. Mm -hmm. Go and pack her bags and bring it here to me. Me? Why me? I mean, someone else should do it, I beg. Are you mad? Who is that someone? I be were you not the one that went to blab your mother and landed her into this big trouble in the first place? Can you imagine? Did you whatever they call you? Finish what you started, okay? Did it. Go and pack her bag and bring here. I mean now. Yeah, can you imagine? You did try me. What you miss this one? Don't waste my time. Ah, uh, you work. Do you 
trying to kill me. <laughs> Judy, do not make things difficult for me. Look, but this is not the road to my father's house. I thought you wanted to take me to my father's house. See, I, I know what befalls anyone who go against the king's favor. And why did you go talking to other maidens, even if we focus in parties to each other? Why would you do that? It, it was a mistake. Look, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Please, I won't do it again. I beg you, please. Don't do this to me. I beg you. You know, I used to give you money when you don't have money. Please help me. I beg you, please help me. Please help me. Please help me. Look, I'm the only child of my parents. I lost my two brothers. If you kill me now, my parents will be left with no child. Please, I beg you, save me. We'll let you live. Are you serious? Hey, thank you. Thank you. My God will bless you for me. My God will bless you. My God will bless you for me. My God will bless you. Enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give her a bag. Go. Fast. I should go. I'm sure you know what will happen to us if you found a life anywhere around this kingdom. I'm gone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is it? Why did you allow me to sleep this long? Oh, I fell asleep myself. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. Sweetie, please. You don't need to feel guilty. Or shy about anything, okay? Were well, you gonna get married? And so you propose what I just did is very, very stupid. Oh, come on. You know we need each other. Judith. <laughs> 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 ah! Yes, my princess, what is it? Judith. What about Judith? Come on, Gina. Judith will be alright. Father, you, 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 you promised me. But you yes, saw. I promised you, Gina, that I was going to investigate the case. And I did. And I found And what now, Father? And what? Princess. Judith has been sent home to her parents. Well, no. No, Father. Judith, come on, pull yourself together. What she did was wrong. And it was in the best interest of the palace that she leaves. Yes. <laughs> Gina! 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 Your uh, Majesty, she will be all right. Don't you worry. She'll be fine. Judith, she has been sent out of the palace and it's all my fault. But it's not your fault. 
If it is anybody's fault here, it should be me because I allowed her into my room. But if I didn't go to my father in anger, she would have still been here. Well, maybe we should start thinking of something else to do instead of blaming yourself. You don't know my father, do you? Once he makes up his mind on something, nobody can change it. The most important thing is that she's okay. And, hey, we can take her back. What are you talking about? Like uh, when we get married and we're going back to my kingdom. We can carry her along. I feel for her. I feel for her safety. My father is reputed to be mean and... I uh, am listening to what you're saying. Nothing. I just need to go to sleep. It's fine. You wanna lie down? Not here. In my room. Okay. Um, I will come along with you. Why do I feel rather funny? Nothing happens to Judith. I'll never forgive myself. Come in. Hey, princess. Hey. Are you alright? You know, I've been searching everywhere for you. Where were... Where... Jenna, were you crying? No. I'm fine. Nah. Uh -uh. What's wrong with you? Wait, I said I'm... Okay. I was crying. But I'm fine now. Yeah, you were crying. So tell me, why were you crying? Oh, I see. Judith has been sent away. Listen, Father already said you that... You don't understand, Harriet. Judith was taken out of the palace this night. Oh my God. I actually thought that she... Where have you been? And what are you to go Manas. Don't you know that you're actually supposed to knock on people's door before entering? Harriet, Tina is my sister, not people. And besides, this is not even your Please room. just stop. I'm tired of your fights. I've had a pretty tough day today. Please. Jeez. What's wrong with you? Your eyes look puffy. Hmm. Pearl, since you want to play dumb here, let me help you, okay? Judith has been sent out of the palace. Hmm. Mm hmm So is this why you guys are acting like someone died? Oh, please. The stupid girl deserved it anyway. Pearl, why don't you have human sympathy? Really? Gina, I should be asking you that question. Are you the one that reported her to father? And embarrassed also. So why cry now? You know, you, you always worsen every single situation, Pearl. Why do you always do that? 
But it's true, Harriet, it's true. If that stupid Judith of a girl who is trying to reap from where she did not sow hadn't gone and gossiped with one of her kind, Gina wouldn't have gone to father and Mr. Oppo would have asked us to lie against her. What's going on here? Um, lie against her? Oh. I, I don't get. Ouch. Um, mm, we're not even supposed to talk about this. Mother is not even supposed to know I about it. I said shoot. Well, it's out now, and Gina is not mother. Opo cautioned us not to admit to anyone that we went to Prince Ferguson's chambers. Um, okay, listen, girls, listen. A bear committed the exact same crime. <laughs> Why is she not being punished for it? Why? Mother must cover up for her as she always does. She's not here. She. Father. There's no problem. Oh, yes, there's a problem. You are the problem. If Judith was sent away because of her sins, how come you are still here? I appreciate you coming to talk to me. And I will do exactly as you suggested. The earlier, the better. You must decide which of my daughters you will marry. For sure. You know what to say. Use what you have. To get what you want. Isn't that true, my queen? My queen. You're such a beautiful woman. And I wish I had met you years ago. When you were much, much younger. Well, I'm older now. So, um, my daughters, um, have to marry and settle down. You understand? I should think so. You mentioned a painful knee the other day. Right? You remembered. It's a virtue for a man to be attentive to a woman and her needs. Yes, um, it started as a joke, but suddenly I truly began to feel pains all over. I have the perfect solution for you, my queen. Oh boy, is a fantastic masseuse. What you need is a massage. Something to suit in you. He can do a wonderful job. My queen, my guards are very loyal to me. They will die to even protect me. Their lips are sealed even to each other. You do agree with me that my hands are tied. Yes. 
Harriet? If mother is not with father, where could she be by this time? You know, I'm thinking that, um, like, she might be with the chef concerning tomorrow's breakfast. You know how mom has been so concerned since Prince Ferguson got here? That's what I think, though. Mm -hmm. But a bear would have naturally been with her if that was the case. What are you girls doing up at this time? Um, we've been looking for you, mother. Everywhere. Is anything wrong? No, mother. But I was just thinking. If you could protect a berry from getting punished, why couldn't you do the same for Judith? I don't understand what you mean by protecting a berry. I sent her on an errand. So it was my duty. Mom, do you realize Judith has been sent out of the palace and anything could happen to her? Oh, nothing will happen to her. Hmm? She would just send back to her parents. Besides, I made sure she was adequately rewarded for her time here. Mom, of what use is money to Judith if she loses her life? Yes, yeah, true. That's true, mother. Because... When I was in school, I heard that father used to um, kill everyone, yes, that tries to expose it. Mom, I've heard it too, even in this palace. Now, mother, if you want me to count, I can tell you how many people have got to missing and disappeared mysteriously over the years. Enough of this nonsense. Enough. Even if your father is evil. It is your duty to protect him and not to condemn him. Besides, where lies your sense of responsibilities? And how have you daughters of mine know? Every family has got a secret. Mother. Mother. If anything, and I mean anything at all happens to Judith, I will be greatly upset. Good night, mother. She has her father's stubborn attributes, yet she questions his decisions. I've always known that, mother. Always. Good night, darling. Good night, mother. <laughs> <sighs> Mother, where are you coming from? Have I told you recently how much I love you? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm telling you now, I love you so much. Because you remind me of myself when I was your age. I know we are running out of time, but our effort is yielding results, and that's a good thing. Has anyone heard about the maiden? Uh, not yet. Um, I heard from our boys that she has been taken out of the palace. Uh, yes, she has. I see. But you are meeting with Azuka tonight? Certainly. You have left a mark on that young lady, haven't you? Oh, man. Well, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Okay, um, Bobo, I have a job for you. Okay. I told the queen how good a masseuse you are. <laughs> Best hands in the palace. Right. So you need to make sure you score. I will. Massage her till it's all done. All right? We need to make sure that everyone connected to the king feels guilty in your pleasure. Mm. And that, by doing so, we will break down their walls of defense. That is why we came here, and we must do it, and finally hit the ultimate. Well, I'm beginning to find um, Opus Surveillance and us very uncomfortable. Hmm. 
And I suggest we... Stephen, I know where you're going, but no. We cannot eliminate him now. We cannot afford any form of suspicion. At least not for now. We have to sit back, wait, watch, strike when the time is right. Is that understood? Oh, okay. Understood. Yes, come in. Oh, good evening, Your Majesty. How are you? I've been expecting you. It's truly an honor to be here, Your Majesty. It truly is. I'm told you have the best hands. I not only have the best hands in the palace, but I also have the instrument that would make any woman happy. We shall. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Uh, I know none of that. Shift this. Okay. Yes. Uh, Your Majesty, you will have to uh, get undressed so I could massage you properly. Please. Ah, you're almost there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> y Your Majesty, we, we both know that it would be quite a feat to give you a proper massage while your clothes are still on. Now, uh, might I uh, recommend maybe tying a towel around yourself? Princess. Oh. I'm crying. You haven't gone to bed yet. Oh, I was going to see your mother before I finally retire. Oh, no. She sleeps like a log. I'm certain she must be dreaming of you. <laughs> oh, us. And she wakes up tomorrow to tell us how fortunate we are to have a father like you that provides everything for us. <laughs> of course, she does that because she loves you people. Though. I know, but must she think it's in all the time? It gets really boring. <laughs> I can't wait to marry a noble prince. I live in my own world. <laughs> you will someday, my princess, you will. Okay, your wish will certainly come to pass someday. By the way, what are you still doing up at this time of the night? I couldn't sleep. And I went to Gina's room, she was so upset. Overdue this departure. I know. I understand. It's alright, my dear, okay? So why don't you go to bed, try and sleep, when I go see your mom, no, okay? No, 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 Dad. I have something really serious to talk to you about. That can't wait till tomorrow? No, I can't. Really? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Okay. Mom, come wait. You have an old It's all right. Very well. Which one are going this way? Are you taking me on this way? <laughs> 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 Yeah. Oh. oh. This is beautiful. Oh. This is nice. I'm glad you like it. My queen. Uh, mm. Truly, you have the best hands. Oh. The best hands in the palace, don't you mean to say so? Oh, yeah. Your Majesty? Yes, so, so relaxing. Ah! Oh. Oh. Mm. 
Why are you stopping? I was enjoying that. Why? Your Majesty. Oh, my queen. <laughs> what you truly need is some young blood that will give you what you thoroughly yearn for. Should you die like a common foul? I knew this was going to happen. They saw her body read out the bullet on the way to it to my kingdom. Is this not baffling? What will she be doing on that road at that time of the night? <laughs> Though I can't confirm it, but Francis and his men said she requested to be dropped there. How can a sane person? Request to be dropped off in the middle of nowhere at that time of the night. Perhaps she was on her way to it to my kingdom. She confided in me. She told me her parents would be so disappointed in her if she comes back home. Angelina did the first child. The bed we know her family. Her elder brother had an accident. And he lost his leg. Oh, this is so sad. Only God knows who will be next. God forbid. I know the life I live here. I will try to avoid anything. Anything of brutal substantation. Devil. Devil. Where are you going to? You've seen your handbook, right? I hope you're not referring to me as a devil. Don't just strike you dead in today. And if you're the one she's talking to Nko, what would you do? Me multiple demons besiege you. I mean, what is happening here? What's this setup about? What have I done wrong? Did you hear that? Are you talking to me? You're talking to me. You see how the man works? You see? What's going on here? I order you to stop at once. Let the kingdom in the heart say hey, hey. All ye subjects in the land say hey, hey. Sound the sound. What is this nonsense I hear? Fighting in my palace? Your majesty, this is total disregard for you. That is what it is. Disrespect. I can't imagine. I can't imagine this happening in my palace. Do you realize how the king will react when he gets to hear about this? Father would be very furious, mother. Bearing in mind that we've got guests. Imagine that. Such a highly regarded guest witnessing a fight. Mother, mm. I think the maids have way too much freedom in this palace. They move around and gossip as they please. Azuka. Yes, Your Majesty. You are in charge of the maidens, are you not? Yes, Your Majesty. 
So why would such an unruly behavior take place in my palace? Your Majesty, I try as much as possible to control them. But as Princess Pearl rightly said, they feel too free and do not respect me. Mother, <clears throat> I think the maidens are fighting because they are blaming Njide for Judith's death. Why would they not blame her? Hmm? As a matter of fact, I think she should be applauded for having the courage to walk up to you and report the malicious lies Judith has been spreading here. Mother, you know I do not condone gossip or rumor, but I would also not blame Njide for coming forth. We just need to realize one thing. I mean, these girls are in pain. They lost one of their own. It's only natural they get to blame someone for it. Sister, if Judith hadn't gossiped, she wouldn't have been sent out of the palace. Mm -hmm. Besides, like um, Uncle Lopo said, she was attacked by arm robbers when they dropped her off. Your Majesty, if I may suggest, I think these girls should be punished in order to stop them from behaving like animals. <laughs> Rather than punishment, Mother, I would suggest caution. These girls are in pain. Judith was my maiden. I know exactly how they feel. Well spoken. I'm not one to write the judgment. Azuka. Yes, Your Majesty. This is your lucky day. Now, if there is a repeat performance of what happened, I will not only hold you responsible, I will skin you alive. Am I understood? Yes, Your Majesty. I'll get back to your duties. Njide. Mother. If you don't mind, I would like Njide to be my maiden from now on. Very well. Thank you very much, Mother. You may leave. Hey, brother, can I get a glass of wine, please? We shall save the royal crown. Say hey. 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 Come in. Hey. Come in. Your Majesty, the King has requested to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty.
Miss Ferguson, why are you wearing that mischievous look on your face? My princess, if the wish to hold and kiss you is mischievous, then so be it. But, um, I never knew you were interested in me. It's absolutely not true, my princess. I've always had interest in you from the very first day I stepped foot in this palace. Uh, except for the fact that your sisters keep pushing themselves at me, you know. <laughs> it doesn't give us the opportunity to spend time together. I understand. I know everybody wants you. Even the maidens. <laughs> they all do. <laughs> but it's true. Right. My princess, it is only you that can have me. Um, I, you're the man. I've made my intentions clear to you. But my prince, you always just don't... Speak no further, my princess. Do not utter another sentence. From the minute I set foot in this palace, the little that I have seen, you have impressed me. Greatly. <laughs> yes. You are best behave, stylish, <laughs> and uh the most beautiful, if I may say. <laughs> <laughs> My friend. However, I believe that you must fight for what you want. Show me you desire me, My princess. And my heart will be yours. Good day, my princess. I have no need for you to uh, I think I need some uh, rest. Oh, there he is. Your Majesty? Yes. Uh, you sent for me. Yes, Prince uh, Ferguson, I did send for you. Your father called again. This time he sounded very, very worried that he hasn't heard from you. It has he heard from your head guard that you came here with. Why don't you go ahead and... Uh, I speak with him. Well, Your Majesty, I am avoiding my father's voice um, because he worries a lot. And I think it's about time that my father realize how grown up I am. I'm thinking he's just. Well, he. The uh, uh, bottom line is that. Uh... I did promise him I'm going to convince you to speak with him. So please, because if you were my son, I'd be worried as well. So please go ahead and talk to him. Well, Your Majesty, I understand that. But I know why I'm avoiding my father's voice. The minute I speak to my father, my trip here will end. <laughs> no, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay? I can uh, get him to... Uh, extend your stay here, because from all indications you enjoy your stay here, especially with my daughters around. Without due respect, Your Majesty, I beg to turn down your offer. Very well, then. I, I'm not going to force you to do what you don't want to do. It's okay. Thank you, Your Majesty. Um, <clears throat> Prince Ferguson, why not let your head guard speak with your father? Perhaps that might calm him down. Well, Oku, I, I told my guards not to speak to my father for, for similar reasons. I think it's about time my father realizes that I'm, I'm, I'm grown up. I want him to cease monitoring me. I mean, besides, as it were, I am not lost. He sent me here. I'm in the presence of the most respected King Desmond. That's true, you know. I mean, a, one does not have to be in the bosom of his parents all the time. I think I agree with you. I agree with you. Thank you for understanding. Yes, yes. Uh, please go ahead, okay? Enjoy your stay. Thank you, Majesty. All right, then. Hmm. 
He's acting rather strange, isn't he? Your Majesty, if Chief had not insisted that he stays, I would have asked him to leave immediately, or we have him thoroughly investigated. His reasons for not wanting to speak with his father are not genuine to me. I think I agree with you. Yeah, but then, I, uh, his coming over here was an agreement between me and his father. Right. You know, he didn't just come here on his own. Well, anyhow, let's just watch him. Watch him, we will, Your Majesty. Yes. Uh, Marie? Your Highness. Where is your princess? She's in her chamber, Is she? Um, let's do me a favor. Tell Princess Pearl to meet me in my chamber shortly, okay? All right, off you go. Your Majesty. Yes, Princess. Yes, Your Majesty. Sir? Prince Ferguson, my princess. What? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> Were you busy? No, 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 not at all. I was just, um, Never mind, why don't you just come in? Come on, I don't buy it. Come on. <laughs> uh, I would have loved to be princess at this moment. I'm just doing something. Maybe you should join me in shortly, don't you think? Yeah, because I will. Just you and I. Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Definitely, my princess. Please shut up. I was just looking for your opinion. I was just thinking about. <laughs> Don't you think that will make such a perfect, perfect couple? <laughs> Aluchi. Yes, my princess. I asked you a question. I'm sorry, my princess. I assumed you were thinking out aloud. Please, can you ask the question? Oh, shut up and just leave, leave. I'm sorry, my princess. <sighs> Kill joy. <laughs> yes. Come in. Make love to me, please. Tell me how much you would think we are in here. Listen, I think maybe we should just... Uh-uh. And turn me down now. That's... I think. Could you relax? What is going on here? What are you doing here? What does it seem like? Ladies, ladies, please allow me. It's my fault. No, Prince Ferguson. This is not your fault. My sister here has been carrying herself in a manner that is not befitting since you arrived. Oh, really? Yes, really. Look at you! What? You're forcing yourself on a man who doesn't want you? Am I? Isn't that desperation, my sister? You dare speak to me in that tone again? I will deal with you. And what would you do? No, 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 no. Not here. This is not right. Stupid idiot! Desperate fool! Mama! That's what you are! He would never marry you! Oh! I mean, look at the way you sneaked in his little dinner with me! Yes, 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 yes,
what's all this? This is not right. I am disappointed in both of you. Absolutely. I'm so not impressed. What do you want me to think of you? Let's just speak of the king and the queen. The maidens? Or other domestic staff? What do you want them to think of you? Prince Pegasin, I, it's, it's not, it's, it's really not me. Princess Harriet, Princess Pearl, will you look at me? I don't like this. Okay? For starters, I don't like it. It's not right. And I have one advice for both of you. The advice is this. Let's keep this amongst the three of us. Just the three of us. No one else. Understood? Tell her to stay out of my way. Because that's the only way we can have peace. Sister. <laughs> she, she's just another woman who's trying to take my love away no, from me. No, no, no. one will take you away from me. Not unless you allow them to. You won't allow them, would you? No. No, you won't. No. What is it? It's a sister! She... She what? Huh? Pearl. She... What? What is going on here? Pearl? Nothing. What is this? Can you believe what you see with your eyes? Can make you scared, so you run and you hide. Emery. Your Majesty. You know, sometimes Pearl actually forgets that I'm my eldest sister. She doesn't even remember all that. About that. Pearl can be very annoying. Is that why you're biting yourself? I mean, sometimes I feel like putting her in a corner and just strangling her. I will. Tina, I'll do worse. I'll do worse than that someday. She's your younger sister and we cannot throw her away, can we? No, we can't. But I will do something. Why have I not been privileged to see you around lately? It's been a while. Is it because of our last incident? Not really, Your Majesty. I have been busy. Ah, well, standing here right now, looking at you, it makes me want to kiss you all over again. But um, we're in the corridor, we're in the open. We should just see each other again, you know, talk. I, I even need to ask you a few questions about the king's daughters just before I pronounce which one of them I want to marry. I understand your majesty. Okay. So... When will you come into my chambers? Oluchi! Oluchi! Please, um, I need half a glass of brandy. Brandy. Yes. You don't need brandy. Let me not hold you. Your Majesty. Yes. 
please. I, I don't want it to look as if I'm gossiping. Okay. But what is this talk about you avoiding to speak to your father? Oh, oh, that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's nothing. It's, it's just one of those things. Um, personal reasons, that's what it is. It's nothing to worry about. The king is sending a boat to your kingdom to, to find out about you. Your majesty, I will tell the king exactly what you just said. Yeah, yeah, please do. Okay, um, I will be waiting. Thank you. Distraction. I need a distraction. Distraction is what I need. Distraction. Come in. Forgive me. I know I must have created a wrong impression before you. That is what it should be. Harriet had no right to displace you like that. That's all they do. Maybe because I'm younger. God, all I want to do is just leave this palace. I'm so unhappy. You'll be fine. You will. Trust me, you will. Before my vacation is over, I will tell your father, the king, that it is you I want. Really? Yes. You will marry me? I will marry you. Oh my god. I will marry you. <laughs> now listen to me. Listen to me. No wife uh, of mine can be a weakling. Are you listening? No wife of mine. Okay. I overheard Harriet saying, she will kill you. Me? She must be joking. Perhaps she doesn't know I am thinking the exact same thing. She wants to force herself on you and I will not let that happen. Now, this is what you will do. I need you to confront her, okay? Confront her. Fight like you've never fought before. Ever. Embarrass her so that she stops coming on to me. Can you do that? If it's not for my father. Pearl, your father listens to me. He hears me when I speak. I'm going now to where she's sitting with Gina. No, 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 no. Wrong. The timing is not right. No, whilst Gina is there, she will intervene. Don't worry, my love. I know how to distract her. That's the right word. Perfect word. Distraction. <sighs> Oliti. Oluchi, please go get me another glass of brandy. Hurry. Come back here. Come back here. What is wrong with you, Harriet? Nothing. Look at your eyes. 
You're already getting drunk. Of course, did I tell you that I want to get drunk? Did I not tell you that I wanted to get drunk today? Did I not? Where is Harriet? Oh, Harriet is here. This is not my baby sister. What will daddy say? I do not care what father will say. What is wrong with you? Gina? Father wants you. Where is he? In his body. Now listen to me, baby sister. If you take one more shot of whatever it is you're drinking, brandy or whatever, I will tell daddy, and I mean it. Dare me. Enjoy. Oluchi, <laughs> hurry up. Get me the glass of brandy, please. Just hurry up. Get in front! Bring someone home with that glass! Harris. You were not referring to me, were you? Hey, Harriet. Pearl, you're very stupid. In fact, Pearl, you're extremely stupid. And God help me, if you do not leave this place right now, Pearl, I am so going to do something nasty here. So leave now. So the thing is, we have to hit these people hard. It's not something we're just going to spend time. Stephen, are you paying attention to what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. What the hell are you looking at? Fucking pay or we don't shout. Okay. What's that? I know what is happening. Someone just fell off the balcony, don't you see? What's that? Let's get out of here now. What's that? No! No! What was that? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but something very terrible just happened. What happened? Ben is dead. Ah! Harriet pushed her down from the balcony. No! 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 No!
It has begun. Blood for blood. Adam. Adam needs to see this right now. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. What terrible news did I just get? The D1 has crept into my palace and taken my two precious daughters. No. Oh my God. No. Your Majesty, how did this happen? I still can't understand. She had a fight with her older sister. Oh my God. And, oh God, what is happening? What is happening to me? Oh my god. God! 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 Call me Daniel. Tell Daniel to call me Harriet. Find Harriet wherever she is and bring her here. And you go get me okay. Quick. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty. What is it? Speak! The, the, the princess. Yes. What about the princess? What about? She committed suicide. Is it not obvious that the demon is here? May your descendants suffer shame and humiliation. You will seek tears and they will not come. You will seek death and lose your time. We killed so many people. And the demon is here to take my own life. Your Majesty. No. My daughter just committed suicide. My life, my life is finished. Your, your Majesty. <laughs> my world is finished. <laughs> your, your, your Highness. The first one. 
Go on. What is that? <laughs> Your Majesty. <laughs> Ah, oh boy. <laughs> God! <laughs> Get rid of God! <laughs> God! Oh boy. My world is finished. <laughs> My world. Your Majesty. Crushed. <laughs> God! One, two, <laughs> everything God. God, everything crushed. The first one, this is a <laughs> Your Majesty, how did it happen? Well, um, it all. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me introduce you to Prince Ferguson. He's my guest here in the palace. Son of my very good friend, King Philip. I'm sure you know, you all know him. That's his son. Mm. Prince Ferguson. This is not Prince Ferguson. I've met him before. But uh, I'm afraid, Chief, I don't recollect uh, ever meeting you. I met him in his father's palace on a business trip. I can't possibly forget him. Uh, he's as wise as his father. Uh, I think it's my brother you met. It, it must have been Prince Ferdinand. It must have been. Wait a minute. Which one of you studied in Harvard University? You see, that's where the mix-up is. My brother went to Harvard. I was at Cambridge. <laughs> so that's where the mix-up is. <laughs> really? This is confusing. Yes, uh, it is. I thought it was uh, my Prince Fabius and I met. Nah. I'm sure that's where you... You got it all mixed up. It must have been my brother, your man. He used to take care of my father's business until I finished school and then I came back and took over. <laughs> I guess so. Your essence. I'm sorry about that. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, you are trying to tell us how the unfortunate incident happened. Yes, um, they both of them had a fight. And in course of the fight, one threw the other one down. And when she found out that the sister was dead, she took her own life. Hmm. This is sad. Really sad. What a loss. Anyhow, they have both been deposited at the mortuary. It is said that uh, God gives. And he takes what he pleases him. So who am I to question his wisdom? Your Majesty, were they fighting because of a man? With all respect to the dead, I hope you don't think in any way I'm connected to their death. That's nonsense. How on earth could you? Well, here am I, worrying myself day and night, having nightmares over that. Everyone in this palace knows that Harriet and Pearl are always fighting over one thing or another. 
It just happened that Harriet was drunk on that fateful day, that's all. But the way Oko looks at me makes me very, very uncomfortable, especially since this event. Oko is like that to anyone he cannot understand. He's father's general factor to him, so please just disregard him. Okay. If you say so. But you know what? If he bothers you so much, I could speak to father for No, 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 not at all. It won't be right, it won't be appropriate at all, especially that their palace is in a mourning state. That won't be proper. You are my husband to be. This palace belongs to you as much as it belongs to me. I need you now so I can remain focused. You are my love, my world, my everything. I promise you that I will be there for you, now and forever. You are my everything. You are all I've got. In fact, I need you to take charge of everything that is happening here. Father looks at you like a son. I had problems conceiving at first. Then when I started making babies, I prayed. I prayed and fasted for God to at least bless me with a son. I knew the king desired so much. But at last it was not to be true. <laughs> Ever it was not to be true. <laughs> Why take away my two daughters? <laughs> they are my only joy. In my true conservation, God. God, why? Your Majesty, <laughs> you will wear yourself out. I know. Let us thank God for everything. Let us thank God for life. At least you still have Gina. <laughs> but I know. It's not that I am not grateful. It's just that it loss is too heavy. The circumstance is too bizarre. What did I do? Why? I'm finished. I am finished. My two girls. My two girls are gone. I'm very. <laughs> <laughs> Mother doesn't deserve this. She's been our strength and our pillar. No, my sisters are gone. I will miss them. I have no option. 
I must do what I have. My world. <laughs> My only source of consolation is Prince Ferguson. But does he believe in me as much as I believe in him? Your Majesty, before this unfortunate incident, I was supposed to have traveled to investigate this... Uh, Ferguson? Right. Obo. I am in pain. I am mourning. My heart is bleeding. Why, Ferguson? Why, Ferguson? Your Majesty, we have been together all these years. When you feel pain, I feel it too. When you are in trouble, my heart is heavy. When you need me, you do not call me, Your Majesty. I feel it and I present myself before you. Because we have a connection, a telepathy. And that connection, Your Majesty, must not be broken. Are you in any way trying to say that Prince Ferguson is about to do that? Your Majesty. We have fought many battles together, Your Majesty. We have played rough and dirty. And we have succeeded in all this. Why? Because you taught me patience. And, and wisdom. Right, Your Majesty. Are you in any way trying to tell me that my desire to do business with a young Prince Ferguson is unwise? Far from it, Your Majesty. Far from it. Who am I? Who am I to question your wisdom? I have been with you. I have known you, Your Majesty. You have turned your back on prosperous business, not because you are threatened, but because you need to really fortify yourself. I'm venturing again. Well spoken, my dear friend. Thank you, Your Majesty. Then let's send him away. But not today. Because he's going to be disrespectful to him and to his father. Patience. Patience, they say, is power. Very well, Your Majesty. Very well. See him. No more evil in the land. Say hey, hey, we shall come together now. Say hey, hey, we shall save the royal crown. Say, now the enemy, the enemies are out there. You scared me. Then you must be guilty, for only the guilty are afraid. What do you want? What? I'm no longer welcome? It's okay. You're welcome. Sit down. Azuka, your behavior is becoming strange these days. What I seek in life, I find in you. Therefore, if you are being threatened, it brings forth the strange behaviors in me. Threatened? Yes. Who is threatening who? Your life and that of Prince Ferguson is in danger. You must reach him at once. Abel believes Harriet killed Pearl and took her own life because of the prince. As we speak, Obu is plotting on how to eliminate you and the prince. Eliminate me and the prince? Mm -hmm. um, is the king by any chance a part of this plot? No, my love. The king does not want to harm the prince, at least for now. But Obo is angry. He wants to use OK to disobey the king. So, what do you suggest I do? Leave the kingdom at once. Convince the prince. Use whatever excuse you must. But you have to live for your own safety. 
but not with me. So good. Azuka, I appreciate this day. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Thank you. I will seek the consent of the prince. I enjoyed the foods that you gave to me, but um, you, you weren't there for me to say thank you. So I, I had to come, you know, to look for you. Ah, uh, you had to see your love and then um, pass over the information that I gave to you. Okay, how can you see such a thing? Why then did you hurry out of here? When you had constantly said that you don't have anything to do with this guy. Okay, please, I beg you. It will never happen again. It's a mistake. Please. I believe you, Mom. But, um, do you believe in me? So. <laughs> What do you think will have happened to me? Or even if the world find out the truth? I realize my mistake and I'm sorry. For granted, it won't happen again. I'm deeply sorry. Yeah, that's right. Cut it off. You got that sword of fire. Okay, what do you do? I got the boots. Must be guilty, for only the guilty are afraid. What do you want? Why, well, I'm no longer welcome. It's okay. You're welcome. Sit down. Azuka, your behavior is becoming strange these days. What I seek in life, I find in you. Therefore, if you are being threatened, it brings forth the strange behaviors in me. Threatened? Yes. Who is threatening who? 
Your life and that of Prince Ferguson is in danger. You must reach him at once. Ibo believes Harriet killed Pearl and took her own life because of the prince. As we speak, Ogo is plotting on how to eliminate you and the prince. Eliminate me and the prince? Mm -hmm. Um, is the king by any chance a part of this plot? No, my love. The king does not want to harm the prince, at least for now. But Obo is angry. He wants to use OK to disobey the king. <sighs> so, what do you suggest I do? Leave the kingdom at once. Convince the prince. Use whatever excuse you must. But you have to live for your own safety. But not with me. So come. So come. I appreciate this day. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Thank you. I will seek the consent of the prince. Oh. Come. Come. I enjoyed the food that you gave to me. But um you you weren't there for me to say thank you. So I I had to come, you know, to look for you. Ah uh, you had to see your love and then um, pass over the information that I gave to you. Okay, how can you see such a thing? Why then did you hurry out of here? When you had constantly said that you don't have anything to do with this guy. Okay, please, I beg you. It will never happen again. It's a mistake. Please. I believe you. But, um, do you believe in me? Son! What do you think will have happened to me? Or even me? It's not why I find out the truth. I realize my mistake. And I'm sorry. Come on, come here. I love you. Have I not proven that severally? Why, Azuka? Why did you betray me for the sake of my love for you? Why, Azuka? Why did you take my weakness for you for granted? Okay, I've never seen you this angry before. Even if I took you for granted, it won't happen again. And I'm deeply sorry. It's all right, baby girl. Come on, my love. You know, what do you do when a particular thing becomes a problem? It's part of how you feel about that thing. Uh, what do you do? You cut it off. Yeah, that's right. Cut it off. Cut that swallow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Is it done? Yes. You have done well. Thank you. Is it one must discard everything that can hinder one's progress? Even if it has to do with the parents or even children. But the king? The king. Ah. The king is going soft. He's losing it. The king is losing that which brought us to where we are. And, okay. If you cannot control that one you have, what you desire will consume you. Then, it is our duty to protect the king. Quite right. Even with our blood. Now that is why sacrifices must be made. Are you sure no one saw you? Absolutely. No one. Her body was carefully hidden foot of a car. Ah. <laughs> Very good. Now get rid of it. I shall announce that she has fled the palace. Oh, well, Your Majesty, the disappearance of Azuka from the palace can only mean two things. He said that she is aware of, um, of what caused the fight between uh, Princess Harriet and Princess Pearl. Or she is remotely behind her death. This is amazing. I mean, Azuka practically grew up here. I knew her since I was a child. That does not necessarily mean that she cannot betray us. Or how else can you explain her disappearance? Well, Your, Your Majesty, uh, I'm thinking if Azuka has been in this palace since and suddenly she disappears, without any proof of her committing a crime, then it should be properly investigated. I don't know if anyone has tried to reach her parents, or perhaps she has some friends outside the walls of this palace, close friends. Did anyone actually see her walk out of this palace? I mean, did she go to see someone, or did anybody come here to look for her? If you ask me, there's more to this. There, there is more to this. And as head of security, it concerns me. It gives me concern. Maybe we should know that Azuka is of questionable character. She exposes herself in the presence of palace guests. In that case, it means that someone, someone is using her. Exactly my point. Now, who knows how much information she is divorced? Who knows? Well, <clears throat> this is getting interesting. Um, Oh, you, you've mentioned that her character is questionable. Yes. And you've also confirmed that you are the head security. So course. how come, till date, you have not apprehended her? Well, well I was only Good just... Good question. Let's find out something. Obo. Your Majesty. For the very first time, I am disappointed in you. That you saw someone of questionable character, a security risk, and you said that louder within the palace. Hey! I order you to go find her, wherever she is, and bring her to me. 
And if she's in any way connected to any of my enemies, I can assure you I'm going to make her die a painful death. And anybody that has a link to her, I will personally wipe out of the surface of this earth. Leave my presence now. Leave my presence right now. Your Majesty. <clears throat> Thanks so much, Prince Ferguson. Welcome. See, that is why I like having people like you around me. I can't really wait to have you consummate your love with my daughter, Sheena. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. You said she came to see you this afternoon? Yes. Right. And nobody else saw her since then? Yes. Not even our boys. Well, Adam, uh, shortly after she leaves uh, Stevie's place, I noticed some strange happenings around the palace. I mean, I thought it was quite odd. So we made some inquiries from the guards, but we didn't get any reasonable information. I mean, there was nothing there. Hmm. So you saw Oppo and OK discussing? Yeah, I mean, I don't care anything for OK, but he looked worried. And then shortly after that, um, some car leaves the palace and I notice there's two guards in it. And when the car returns, I um, tried to get some information from the guards, but all they said was that Oppo had sent them on some errand. That was it. This means one of two things. Either somebody saw her when she walked in, or somebody saw him when she left. The die is cast. Is that we strike now, or we risk losing our own heads? Exactly what I suggested. If you don't come look for me, I'll come look for you. Well, I didn't expect you to sleep alone. This palace has been so quiet. And I feel so alone. Can I ask you a question that has been tormenting me? Why? Well, um... Go ahead, please do. Can I trust you? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I've been meaning to ask you the same thing. It's been playing on my mind. I'm giving you my life, my everything. Let me ask you one more time, Prince Ferguson. Can I truly trust you? I want to reassure you. Your Majesty, uh, permit me to ask, and I hope this comes out right. Um, I realize you eat the same food quite often. I find it a little odd. <laughs> I'm diabetic. Besides, I do not see anything odd in all right plantain and vegetable. It's very nutritious, you know. Actually, Daddy. Yes, dear. I think I find it quite odd as well. Your food is tasteless. No salt, nothing. It's just that. Just look at you, sweet tooth. Oh. <laughs> Sweetheart. What is it again? You used to be like that. Perhaps um, that's what led to your diabetes. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. If you almost know, my family has a history of diabetes. As a matter of fact, that's what killed my father. Are you clear on that now? Why are you staring at me like that? I don't have diabetes. I'm never going to have it. And neither will our children. I do not want the burial of my children to end. Very well. I have lost them. Life must continue. Right, Your Majesty. Because I do not want the Queen to suffer anymore. Yes, Your Majesty. So you have to. Ah! Ah! Your Majesty. Ah! Did you take ah. the drugs this morning? Yes, I did. Your yes. Majesty. Uh, now I suggest we see the doctor right now. You have not been feeling well lately. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. What is happening to my perfect world? What? What? Then it started again. Father needs you now more than ever. If you break down, what will happen now? 
Everything is wrong. <laughs> Everything is wrong. <laughs> First it was your sisters. <laughs> then you did. <laughs> Azuka. <laughs> Can't you see there's a gathering in the witch's coven against my family? Witch coven? <laughs> Mother, there's no coven. Please, stop talking like this. This is no ordinary coincidence now. Can't you see? Can't you see? There's a gathering, there's a gathering, there's a gathering, there's a gathering against my family. There's a gathering against my family. There's a gathering against There's my no family. There's against the family. Mother, please get hold of yourself. <laughs> your Majesty. Your, your, your Majesty. Oh, oh. Your Majesty. Oh, oh. Your Majesty. What have you and the king done? What have you been doing? What did you do wrong? That God is punishing me for a sin that I didn't commit. Let, let, let us calm down. <laughs> Calm down, please. Mother. Okay. Mother, please stop talking like this. Now. Can't you see that you're gathering the witches coming against my you family now? You know, Father, I'm not hot a flying. Despite what people say about him. Mother, please stop this thing. We don't need this now. Please, Your Majesty. Doctor. How is my husband? Your Majesty, the king had a multiple stroke. That is to say he cannot speak or move on now. Doctor. What you did you say? He had a stroke. Your Majesty, get a hold of yourself. <coughs> Mother, are you going to get a hold of yourself or what? <coughs> oh, okay, doc, Doctor, can, can we at least see him? Yes, you can. But Your Majesty, you need to control yourself. Okay. The patient needs to be shown love, not sorrow, as this might lead to a sense of hopelessness. Yes, yes, yes. Mother, are you going to get a hold of yourself or am I going to leave you here? Are you coming with me? Yes. Us. Can he hear me? Possibly. Father, I never for once believed you could fall ill. You've always been as strong as an ox. Please come home so I can trouble you with my questions. I love you very much, Daddy. I need you by my side in a grand wedding between Prince Ferguson and I. Your Majesty, I know we have some unfinished business to close and I can promise you that I will not leave the palace until you come home. Dr. Titus, can I see your side for a few minutes? Sure. Oh, oh. I need you and a bearer to leave. Thank 
The doctor said you'll be fine. He said you will get back on your feet soon. Baby, you remember the good times that we had? The times we fought and then we pretended to our three girls that nothing happened? Baby, remember the times you used to chase me around the house? My love, my love, my lion. Doctor, Whoa. please tell me the truth. What are my father's chances of survival? Because he, he's in a pretty bad shape. My princess, to be honest with you, he might never recover. This is one of those rare complex situations. Even if you fly him abroad, his chances of recovery is zero. It's as if something just attacked his nervous system, triggering a total collapse of his brain. I'm sorry to say this. He might remain a vegetable for the rest of his life. How did this befall us? Dr. Titus, <gasps> you are saying there's nothing that could be done. What I'm trying to say is the only thing that can help him is a miracle. A miracle? He promised to build me a castle. <laughs> and you did. You did. You built me a castle. Give me all the servants, all the maids to take care of me. I, I can't be in the castle alone. You have to get up on your feet and come home. And be with me. Oh, so much wire. So much wire. So much wire. So my baby. I can't even sit anywhere. Oh, my, my Desmond, Desi, my Didi. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here. You have to get up and come home, okay? I'll just stand here. I'm not going to make noise anymore, okay? Capable of doing anything now. He's realized the king would not recover. Adam, that could take months. Do we have to wait for that long? No. We don't have to wait that long. Once I inflict a lot of pain on his majesty and reveal my true identity to him, and watch him suffer. He is a dangerous man and could pull any stunts anytime. Don't stop watching my back until I am totally convinced that he is truly dead. Stephen, I know how you feel, but we need to be careful. 
Gbagbo is the kind of man who will do what he's told, even if he feels otherwise. What I need is distraction. Distract him. And he will go back to being his normal self. All strength, no brains. So, what happens to the Queen and Gina now? Nothing for now. We'll wait and strike in a month. Just have to make sure nothing is linked to us. No trace whatsoever. They didn't pity me. I will not pity them. Carry on. Do you think I should fly farther abroad? It's been over a week and his condition seems to be getting worse. Well, personally, I don't think so. <sighs> because Dr. Titus was very emphatic when he said that it would take a miracle to get your father to speak or move just a little. I don't want to believe my father will remain a vegetable. Well, it's good the way it all happened. At least he received medical attention at that point. Otherwise it would have been a different story by now. Uh, I don't even want to think about that. Ferguson. Do you think there's something else involved in what's happening to my family? Something. Like Vodi? Yes. Mother seems to be convinced that the incidents are not normal. Princess Gina, how well do you know your father? Pretty well. I mean, besides the time I went to study abroad, I've always been very close to my dad. I'm that son he never had. You haven't answered the question. I want to know from you. How well do you know your father, King Desmond? Other than... What people say about him. I think my father is just a shrewd businessman and he's just a man who knows what he wants and how to get it within the law. Mm. Why do you ask? Well, I, I just wanted to know. I mean, why your mother is so convinced that all this is not natural? Ferguson, do you think that what people do in the past come back to haunt them in the future? Yeah, I do so. Absolutely, I share that thought. Because my mom said that um, father and uncle Lopo did a couple of things in the past when I was a child. And this thing of people disappearing from the palace is beginning to bother me. It's okay. It's all right. Everything will be fine. Okay. Everything will be fine. Maybe we should go to the hospital. Check on your dad. Sooner or later, everything will be revealed. 
Okay. Don't roll your head too much. If you say so. Majesty. I'm a sad woman today because of what you and the king had been doing. As the sun rises every day, so do I become even more convinced that the atrocities rumored about you and the king are true. Your Majesty, these are baseless accusations by our detractors who will stop at nothing to tarnish the king's image. You should know that, Your Majesty. Do I look like a fool to you? No, Your Majesty. There must be some element of truth in these accusations. I have two daughters. I have two daughters that I'm yet to bury. Now the king wants to join them. Oh, the gods forbid that, Your Majesty. God forbid that. There is no God forbidding in this one. The king is now a vegetable. He lies in the hospital. A moron gaping at me. My lion doesn't roar anymore. This is too much for me, oh boy, can't you see? Your Majesty, I am here to protect you. And protect you, I must, until the king is back. I shall protect you, Your Highness. How long? How long do I wait to bury my daughters? How long? I am being punished for what I don't have an idea. Oh, 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 please, in the name of everything that you hold dear, I beg you, tell me, tell me who you and the king had offended, whom you had stepped on. I will go and beg them for forgiveness. Oh, please, help me. Tell me the truth. Your Majesty. My world has come to an end. Oh, please. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Please. You must pray. You must pray, Your Majesty. I know you hear me and you recognize my voice. I want to talk to you. You know, everyone is praying that you recover. Yeah. Everyone wants you to recover, Your Majesty. But you can't. 
you will not. I know why. Well, maybe in your next lifetime, you might just, that is, if you will leave hell where you rightfully belong. I am the reason you're here. I caused it. I made it happen. And I take credit for it. You thought you were transparent? Being all a big shot king that you think that you are? You thought you had your barriers all in place? Well, I broke through. I crept, broke your defense, and I can promise you I will shatter everything you've ever labored for. <sighs> oh, by the way, I am the one that instigated the fight that led to Harriet killing Pearl. Except that I cannot take credit for the fact that she committed suicide. But I didn't like that. It didn't make me happy. I am not proud of that. You know why? She chose the easy way. I would have loved to watch her suffer. So I can snatch life right before her very eyes. Yeah. That's what I would have done. Your Majesty. <laughs> you ain't kids. I'm convinced you can hear me. Because the doctor said so, that you might just be able to hear us. You see, I know you wish you could just reach out and strangle me, but you can't. You cannot, Your Majesty. You are a vegetable, and you will remain like that. Sad, isn't it? Your beautiful wife and your only daughter alive are not safe either. I will make sure I frustrate them to die. I have the power to do that because I am in charge now. You never saw that coming, did you? You must be wondering, who the hell is this? Or what I seek? What I want nothing more from you, your majesty, order than to destroy you and destroy everything that belongs to you, the same way you destroy the lives of others. Revenge is sweet, isn't it? Oh, I, was just, I was just checking on him. Obviously, the king is a fighter. Like I said, we treat, but only God heals. Dr. Titus. I would like for you to continue making your inquiries. Now, should anything come up or should you know anyone that can help my father? 
Do not hesitate to tell me. No matter the cost or the distance, we will embark on it. My princess, it would be a great joy to me for the king to recover. I love you, Daddy. I'd like you to know that we're doing everything humanly possible to get you back on your feet. Prince Ferguson and I can't wait for you to see us get married and bear grandchildren for you. Yes, Your Majesty. We can't wait. Okay. It's time for him to have his rest. Yeah. Your Majesty. I will be back again tomorrow to continue the story that I started. The sweet story I began. Until then, stay blessed, Your Majesty. I love you, Daddy. He'll be talking the walking smiles. Deep within his blonded wife. When you least expect, they will strike And the kingdom tumble down Smooth up a rain of so sick and so sly Charming with love, his way to your heart King of this it making you cry Leave you clean with a broken heart Save the kingdom Let's save the kingdom. Hi, 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 hi. Your Majesty, this is the second time you have vomited. And you're looking pale to me. Don't you think we should call Dr. Titus? I'm fine. I think it's the. The stress of everything that's going on. Perhaps the doctor can give you something that will make you relax. Hmm. Oh, Majesty. No. Funny now. I feel pregnant. <laughs> Your Majesty, in spite of everything that has happened, you still have a very good sense of humor. Njide. Njide. Get me a glass of water. Mm. Let me call the doctor, Your Majesty. No. I know I I feel aches and funny I think what I need is to relax yes You have to make me a hot cup of tea, okay? Okay, Your Majesty. Relax, okay. Let me go and get you tea. Okay, okay. right back. Are you okay? okay? I feel faint. I'm slightly feverish. Well, perhaps, maybe because you haven't had anything after breakfast. Perhaps you are. <laughs> what is wrong with the princess? I feel like... Ah. 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 
Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to.
A berry. So what? Something is wrong with the queen and Princess Gina, and yet they refuse to see the doctor. How do you mean? The queen threw up twice, and she's feeling faint and feeble. The same thing is happening to Princess Gina. I, I, I don't know if it's something they ate or. I... All right, all right. You tell them to get ready to go to the hospital. Okay. You tell them to the hospital. Okay. Okay. We'll do that later. There is something. Something is wrong. Since this boy who called himself Prince Ferguson arrived at the palace, all has not been well. I'll deal with that later. Hey, the Queen and Princess Gina are ill, and I overheard Oko saying that he cannot afford to lose them. <laughs> they are feeling very feverish and they are vomiting. And Oko said they may have been poisoned. What? what? Poisoned? By who? Hey. Ah. hey. Are you asking me? I don't know. I'm just telling you what I heard. Yes, please, let's change this conversation. Please. Let's talk about something else because I don't want someone disappearing from this palace, particularly me. See, this palace is cursed, oh. eh? And me, Nkiruka, will not hesitate to pack my things, eh? I run, oh. Mm. Nkiru, mm. that's dangerous talk. Mm. The that's walls true. have ears. That's true. Before your fate be like that of Judith and Azuka, huh. and the ones before them, I God forbid, huh. poison. Mm. I am back again, my king. To torment you, torment you mentally. Of course. That's what I'm good at, for now. Yeah, I'm sure you remember me. Why do I have this feeling that you think I'm here to strangle you? I won't do that. That would be an easy way out now, won't it? It would be a very cheap way to let you off the hook, my great king. I would rather see you back for life watch you suffer, die slowly. Yeah. Anyway, one of the reasons why I'm here at the hospital is to share some good news with you. And bad news. Bad news first. Your queen and your daughter, Gina, both took ill. And that's why they are here. But you know what? I already know the results. Whatever the doctor is going to tell them. Why? Because I planned it. I am the mastermind. Because I have the power. I'm in control now. There's nothing you can do about it. Your wife, the queen, almighty beautiful queen, is pregnant for one of my gods, a commoner, just another god. And she made a confession, your majesty. She told him, he is in bed, something you never were. How pitiful. That's a pity. Oh, your daughter? Gina is pregnant for me. 
your precious one. You cannot imagine what I did to her in that time. <laughs> you have no imagination. I want to so torment you. You have no idea. Anyways, let's get back to the other day, the story that I began. That sweet story I was trying to tell you and I couldn't finish. Do you remember a bosom friend of yours? A great chief. And because you selfishly wanted to take over his business and his entire wealth, You killed him and his entire family. From that place, this thing beyond that thing. Take my son away! You murdered them. How are the mighty fallen? Give Shadrach. So, mm -hmm. mm. Bastard! If you are a man enough, why did you not face me squarely as, uh, uh, as one? <laughs> It is only fools that try to be a hero. Me, wise men like us, creeping like a shadow and take what rightfully belongs to us. Mm, you are a coward ah, and you die like one. So who's bleeding now? Like a pig when you took my love. My heart away. When your company beats my company <clears throat> to discover crude oil <clears throat> in that field, <clears throat> then you smell in mud <clears throat> and dirt <clears throat> on my face <clears throat> like a heartless man. <clears throat> I vow. I will wipe out your entire lineage. Ah, I assure you, you one from me will rip the heart out. Ah, I assure you, worms and vultures will eat up your entire corpse. Idiot. Obo, finish him up. Where's the boy? We after him. After him. Let's get a boy. I remember it like yesterday.
I will live for that day. Oh! Adam, I'm so tired. We need to take some rest. Let's sit. And that one is me. I am here. I found all my life. To revenge. I vow all my life. I am not Ferguson. My name is Adam. I am the first man God created. And I will outlive you, Kim Desmond. What is going on here? I just have this terrible feeling that I brought ill luck to the king and all those around him by accepting his invitation as an honor to my father. I do not know what he has been telling you, but I am here to assure you that you are going to be alright. All will be well. Your Majesty, this is a thing of joy. The King will be absolutely delighted. Perhaps this might even boost his will to leave. At my age? You haven't reached the menopause yet, and so you can still conceive. It's been 20 years since I had my last daughter. Do I need to remind you, Your Majesty, that you were young when you started? You were 20 when you met the king. Well, yes. Uh, I, I, I should be excited at the news of this pregnancy, but you have absolutely no idea what's going through my mind. <laughs> Honestly, I do. The idea that you and your daughter are pregnant at the same time, it's alarming. What did you say? You mean Gina hasn't told you the good news yet? She's equally pregnant. Go ahead and rejoice, Your Majesty. The king will be absolutely delighted. Oh, no. um, doctor, please. Can you do me a favor? Can you please keep this news of my pregnancy to yourself until I decide 
if I want to keep it or not. I mean, you know, it's... Okay, okay. I understand. Thank you. I promise I'll keep my lips sealed. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. So, um, what did the doctor say? Are you truly ready for the news? Oh, Gina, please. Since my childhood, circumstances have made me really tough. I can take whatever it is. It would have been a wonderful news if Harriet and Pearl were around. But now they're gone. And my father he is in a very tragic state. Now I just feel sad instead of excited. It's okay. You'll be fine. So tell me, what is it? I'm carrying your child. Really? Isn't it what you want? Well, yeah, of course. Of course it's what I want. I mean, and we're going to get married and all, right? You don't seem happy. Oh, Gina, please. I'm happy. I... I'm just shocked. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I am just, uh, you know what, I love you. I love you too, very much. I've always loved you, from the very first time I set my eyes on you. Did you just react after saying you love me? Oh, Tina, please. I... I told you I'm just worried about everything that is happening. All of it is just... overwhelming. It's okay. Mm. Oh, there you are. <sighs> I had the news. <laughs> Congratulations, my dear. Congratulations. Oh, stop. Stop. This is not the time to cry. In spite of everything that's been happening around us, we should be rejoicing. Hmm? Mother, I just wish Harriet and Pearl were here to rejoice with us. Let's leave everything in the hands of God and accept it as our fate, okay? We have to go and tell Daddy. Okay? By the way, congratulations. Thank you, my queen. <laughs> Come, let's go. Let's go tell Daddy. Father, I know we lost Harriet and Pearl in a very tragic way. But the Lord has begun his good works in our lives. The doctor has just confirmed that I will be giving you your first grandchild. Baby. Baby. 
Did you hear that? Our daughter will be giving us our first grandchild. Okwo, are you not going to congratulate them? Oh, oh excuse my manners. Um, it is really a uh, good news. Uh, I'm happy for them. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Uncle. Mm. <sighs> my lion. You have to get back on your feet. I can't do this alone. Hmm? See, our daughter's wedding is just by the corner. You have to get up and come give her away. I, I can't do it on alone. This is not how we planned it. <laughs> Come and stand, Rigo. <laughs> Come and stand like the king that you are, please. <laughs> please get up from this place, please. <laughs> 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 Steven, where is Opo? In the King's story, it's okay. There must be plotting. There must be plotting. We cannot let them hit us first. We have to hit first. Is that a now or never? Give instructions to Obo to release Prince Ferguson and let them secure the palace immediately. It's now or never. Steve. I want to thank you. I want to thank you and the boys for being there all this time. Planning this mission all these years. It's like finally. This is the moment we've been waiting for. From now onwards, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I am fulfilled. The vow that I made to your father, years back to avenge his death, that of my father, it's not in vain. Now change your attire and let's complete this mission. Till death. Till death. Blood. 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 Ah, uh, hello. Wow. Um, okay. Guys. At last. Okay. Prince Ferguson. Get up and get dressed. We are leaving. I mean, I also. This. Where are you taking me to? We've been instructed to bring you to Desmond's palace. Let's go. Where is she? Okay. Did you hear something? No. Well, I thought I heard noises. Go out there and check.
You will never what you claim to be all this while. And you should have followed your instinct when you had the opportunity. Let me introduce myself to you. Look at me! I am no bloody figures. My name is Adam. The son to the late Chief Shadrach that you killed. You murdered 30 years ago. What's that? Hey, this is not clean, man. Yeah. <laughs> Is back home. so early. That is rather strange. And you think that this chef has not made lunch? <laughs> Let us go. Yeah. Open the gate. Yes. Open the gate. Yes. Open the gate. Close it. Yes. You are just about to step out elegantly to meet your husband, the chief. Where is my husband? Oh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know where he is. Well, obviously, he's not home, is he? Hmm? Please. Boy. That's 
school. I'm sure you're shocked to see me. What are you doing here? What is going on? I promised your husband, years back, that someday I will return for my pound of flesh. Yes. Please. Whatever conflict you have with my husband should not affect us. Why is your husband I'm not interested in those rantings of yours? As you can see, he's not home. Wait, please. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Wait. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Where is your husband? Please. Just promise me. You will do nothing to hurt me and my children. I am not a monster. Just tell us where your husband is and we'll be gone. He went to the oil field with my son. Oil field. Very well then. Uh, Obo. Please, make the children comfortable. the children will be fine. We just want to have a discussion with you. That's all. Okay? They'll be fine. your husband stole you away from me. Rather, I came here because he cheated on me in a business deal, which you are aware of. You place more value on money than my children. They have no business with whatever happened between you and their father. No, they do. Because they're his flesh. I promised him and promised myself that everything that has breath, that has a link with Shadrach, I will destroy. This uh, one. I curse you today. May your own death come without mercy. May your descendants suffer shame and humiliation. You will seek tears and they will not come. You will seek death and lose your tongue. Your cups will rot in the open and vultures will feed on it. You know, you became deranged from the day you left me for Shadrach, which itself is madness. So the rant of what never affects me. Oh. Well. 
Adam. If you are a man of honor, then you may take my life, but spare the lives of Princess Jenna and the Queen. You shoot me. You do not tell me what else to do. Stephen? Malcolm. If anybody misbehaves here, She chose to die the easy way. What's going on here? Make you feel the pain that you made me go through 30 years ago. Kill you slowly. Prince Ferguson, you're welcome. Prince Adam will be with you soon.
My dear Prince Ferguson, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. You kept me hostage for over a month. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I understand. The thing is, I did not know how long this mission would have been accomplished. I had no idea. But I must say, I'm indebted to you. Thank you for your patience and your understanding. Like I told you earlier on, I will not harm you for as long as you continue to cooperate with us. Understood? Yes. Am I free to live my normal life again? Because this whole thing is, is becoming a nightmare to me. Yes, you will be free. A little more patience. Patience. Hey, Leave us alone. Steve? Can you tell me what is going on here? Who are you? Your father, Kit Desmond, years back, and your uncle, Bobo, descended on my father's house and killed everyone. Brutally murdered everyone. Shot the maids. Killed the gods. My sisters. And my mother. They killed. They even traced my dad and myself in the oil fields after they got the information. Yeah, they shot him. They shot his PA. Stephen's father helped me. He was shot afterwards. Now to answer your question. My name is Adam. This is not true. Oh yes, it is true. Believe whatever you may. Your father wiped out my entire generation. Totally. Because your father wanted to take over my father's property, his wealth. Because my mother left him to marry my father. And I vowed. I vowed Stephen's father that I will revenge his death and my family's death. You were innocent. So were my sisters. They were hacked down in cold blood. So I take it you're behind what happened to my father. Oh, yeah. Yes. I was behind it, absolutely. No, come on. 
Come on, King, you can't do this. You can't do this, King, you can't. Do this to me, talk to me, okay? Come on. Come on, come on, you can't do this. so bravely. It's unfortunate we lost him. I've got a pharmacist to prepare the check. Let me put in his food. So that he would die slowly. There was never going to be trace in his bloodstream. Never. I knew Prince Ferguson was on his way here. So we abducted him. He decided to cooperate. The coward that he is. I told him all I wanted to do and he accepted it. He cooperated for fear of his dear life. Now I'm sure you will be interested in what he looks like. Because as we speak, Ferguson is here. Stephen! Gina. Princess Gina, it's an honor to meet you. Please, please understand that I do not have a hand in whatever has happened here. I had no option. I understand. Get out. For fear is the enemy, the enemy is the enemy. If I do not conquer it, conquer it, conquer it, conquer it, all oh, this will depart from me in my pursuits of life, pursuits of life, pursuits of life, pursuits of life. Adam, you call my father an animal. Tell me, what are you? What have you proven by doing the exact same thing you are killing of? Man is an animal as it is. He will react when he feels pain. He will be when he's caught. He will even kill if he's threatened. I may be making the wrong decision, Gina. But let God be the judge. My only regret... It's you. You. Why? I never knew I would fall in love with you. I never thought you would carry my child. I never knew that. And even if I die now, I pray my son never takes after me. Ever. Because all my life I have lived in hate and Besides that, I have no other regrets, Gina. So! I 
I am my father's daughter. I'm not different from you. Put the gun down, Jim. Wouldn't I be a fool not to kill you now that I've got the opportunity? What difference does that make you? Then we are the same people. You just like that. So be it then. I, I didn't do it intentionally. Don't touch her. She's carrying my child. Adam! 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 In spite of you, I love you. Adam. I love you so much, Adam. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the 